if you were staking atom or osmosis coin before the first of january this year you would have made between one thousand two hundred dollars and thirty three thousand dollars from celestial token airdrop qualify to earn some token airdrop from namada.net and a number of other airdrops that come from staking in cosmos ecosystem in this alpha tutorial i will be showing you how to position yourself for a lot of mega airdrops that will be coming from cosmos ecosystem cosmos is a big player in the web3 space consisting of atom as the main network and other interchain networks like celestia duids osmosis a whole number of them here are the most referenced chains for airdrop projects on Cosmos ecosystem. I will be showing how to stake in them using Cosmos Hub or Atom as an example. While doing that, I will also show how to use a few dApps in Cosmos ecosystem because it's also important. The prices you are seeing next to them are the current market price for injective, for Kujira, these prices might change just to give you an idea of what the cost could be like. If you have the funds, it's recommended to stake in all of these and you try to get volumes of $50 to $100 minimum invested in them. And if you have more money, you can go higher. Normally, if the price is too big, you could aim at 10 to 20 of those tokens. If the price is too tiny like this one, you could aim at having 100 tokens plus. What if you do not have a lot of funds? I would recommend you go for Atom or Osmosis. The reason is that most projects would consider those who staked in Cosmos Hub or Osmosis Hub. And that is Atom or Osmosis. If I am to choose between Atom and Osmosis, I would go for Atom. The reason is simple. Atom is the head of this ecosystem. Majority of the projects would consider those who stake Atom. Secondly, Cosmos ecosystem will be undergoing a split. There will be a new token called Atom One. It is highly likely that there may be air dropping the new Atom One to those who are holding atom or staking atom to those who are holding atom to those who have atom in their wallets so if you have the money try getting up to 10 atom tokens staked that's around 120 dollars if not if money is a problem just stake the much you can the next project i will be going for is definitely injective Injective is one of the hottest narratives in the space now. In fact, there are three projects that have confirmed airdrop for those who will be staking Injective. So go ahead and make some money available for Injective. If you can afford one Injective, two Injective, you could put it in the project. I will list those projects in the description of this video. As more money comes, it is recommended you also stake in other networks like Kujira, Tia, Juno, Secret, or more airdrop opportunities. Having said that, the steps we are going to follow in this tutorial would include installing your Cosmos wallets. In this case, we are going to be using Kepler wallets. Next, we are going to fund our wallets. If you want to stake Atom, Osmosis, injective any of these coins you could send this coin from your exchange to your kepler wallet straight away and do your staking but because i want us to get more interaction on cosmos ecosystem we are going to be bridging from metamask over to kepler wallet in that case we are we are going to be bridging base ethereum or optimizing ethereum over to osmosis coin on osmosis chain next we are going to convert the osmosis to atom and stake the atom if you want to get any other token like injective kujira juno or others you are also able to swap your osmosis to those tokens and stake 
search for kepler wallet for chrome it also has a mobile app in, in case you want to use the mobile you could download any of them how to chrome import your metamask wallet after importing your seed phrase name your wallet select password and then complete the import at this point you cannot choose other interchange it comes with cosmos hub selected by default i told you cosmos or atom is the head go ahead and choose other chains but you are also able to choose this chains later so i will just select tr and osmosis also injective for now and save finish let's pin it to the top the next step will be to make it available in your metamask wallet on base network or optimizing network if you have done that then we are going to breach the eats let's do that select the network your it is on select it connect your wallet metamask click on switch network and switch it to base and connect at the bottom you want to get osmosis click on add address select kepler wallet enter the quantity of it you want to bridge over of course your quantity of it should correspond to what you want to use to stake on cosmos ecosystem next go ahead and submit do all the approvals it's gonna take up to 20 minutes more or less to complete when your bridge has completed you will see your osmosis coin here among the chains if you want to add another enter chain like injective click here click manage chain visibility type injective or search through and then turn it on close this now you have injective please note that each of the chains or coins have their separate address which you can copy by hovering on them now that we have that it's time to go to the next step which is swapping so we go to osmosis platform connect your wallet next, next go ahead and swap your osmosis to atom it's important to leave some osmosis coin for gas fee because this is in cosmos ecosystem but don't worry the gas fee is in pennies not up to cents very cheap go ahead and swap to atom if you want to get other coins like injective Ujira, you could also search for them here and swap your osmosis to them now after you have done the swap the next step will be to withdraw that asset so you have to go to assets when you come to assets you will be able to click on withdraw approve enter the amount of atom you want to withdraw withdraw it it will enter your kepler wallet if at any point you want to swap your atom to another coin like Kujira, Juno or another all you have to do is to come to osmosis platform click on assets click on deposit deposit atom when it enters you go and swap after that go back and withdraw now that everything is set it's time to stake to stake click on your kepler wallet you will see manage portfolio click on it here you are seeing the instruction select the chain select the validator stake you could also close this up and come to your dashboard from your dashboard you will see overview of your wallet if you have staked some coin if you have staked some coins if you have some balances in your wallet when you click on staking you will see the coins you have staked inbox will be messages from the ecosystem now to stake in any particular chain like cosmos hub you could click on chains if you click on it you will see all the chains you could also search for any chain like injective let's now proceed to cosmos hub you can go down and search for a validator or type in here now general rule of thumb 
for choosing validators. You want to avoid the top 20 validators on the list. The reason is that these guys have a lot of influence and projects within Cosmos ecosystem. They fear that these guys can affect decentralization very badly. So they encourage people to choose outside of the top 20. I have seen a project that filtered out people who stacked with these top guys. So you want to choose from maybe between 30 to 100 validators. The second one is you want to avoid validators from centralized exchange. You can see Coinbase, Binance, avoid those ones. Finally, for those who have more funds, it is recommended to split your funds among validators. If, for example, you want to delegate on Cosmos Hub, Injective, Osmosis, and it happens that the same validator you have chosen in Cosmos is available here, do not choose that validator, use another validator, right? That way you are spreading your risk in case any of the validators underperforms. Secondly, you are increasing your airdrop opportunity because a project could say we are rewarding projects that are delegating with a particular delegator and it could happen that you become lucky and fall under that criteria. But if you have small money and you are staking in one chain like Cosmos Hub, go ahead and throw it there. 10 atoms, 20 atoms in one validator is not an issue. Now for security of your funds, don't worry. The validators can never steal your money, right? They can't steal your money. The only thing that could happen is they are underperforming. They get punished. When it happens, it will affect you, all right? You just have to redelegate to someone else who is serious. That's also why it is important to check out the validator you are validating with. Also, if making profit from this is important to you, choose validators that charge lesser commission, maybe from 5% downwards to 1%. I have a list of a few validators you could use if you wish to. Uh, these ones here, it will be in the description of the video. Very importantly for injective, go with Black Panther and Talis protocol. You will get their airdrop. Interestingly, you will also get HDRO token airdrop just for delegating with either Black Panther or Talis protocol. For your Atom, you may choose this one, O1 node. Let's go back. I will search O1 node. I will remove the dot com. And here is the validator. Click on it. Hit on stake. Enter the quantity of Atom you want to stake and stake. Do not use the max button because you need to leave some gas fee behind in any of these chains. In this case, out of just small gas fee. Then go ahead and delegate your tokens. One important information, if you want to unstake your coin, it's going to take 21 days. Just know that. But if you want to redelegate, that is choosing another validator, it will happen instant. It will be instant. You will just come back to your staking, Click on any of your delegated tokens. Click on redelegate. Select the new validator and do your redelegation. Staking injective coins is basically the same process. Let's say you want to stake with Black Panther or Talis. You come back here, you click on chains, you type injective. You go down, search for Black Panther. You can see Black Panther. They even said delegate for claim drop. So go here, stake some injective here, then come back, look for Talis. That is, if you still have money, stake some here. Any of these your stakes would qualify you for HDRO token. Finally, relax and respect your airdrops. That's just that for this introductory tutorial on Cosmos Ecosystem Airdrop Farming. We will be diving into a more detailed research aimed at uncovering more ways of maximizing our airdrop potential in Cosmos Ecosystem. In order not to miss out on these updates, ensure you are a subscriber to our channel 100k Crypto. 
And very importantly, join our Telegram community so that you will be getting live updates on things we may not have time to drop video on. And also you'll be able to chat with me and other members of the community in real time. With that, I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. I will see you in the next one.